Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. To take part in this video you'll need a ukulele tuned to G, C, E, A. That's G, C, E, A. You will also need to have seen my previous video, G is a movable chord. If you haven't, watch that video first, then come back to this one. In the last video we discussed G as a movable chord, moving it up and down the neck. There's one more thing you can do with this G chord to get a bit more use out of it. And it's very simple to do. So you've got your G chord like that. You are going to add your little finger to the third fret underneath your ring finger. So you've got your normal G chord like that. First, second, third finger. This one goes off and on the A string just beneath your ring finger. So you get this sound. So we've got a G shape, G shape, I'm gonna move this finger out of the way though, don't do this yourself. There's your G shape. Then you add that little finger, off again, on again, off. So you get to, When you slide up to whichever fret you want, as long as you meet the G string where you're meant to, you can add that little finger off and on. Remember, mute that G string. So I'm at the third fret with these two fingers, fourth fret with a single finger, muting the G string. Your little finger is going off and on the fourth fret of the A string. So going back to the G shape, G shape is like that, as you know, you are putting your little finger underneath your ring finger on the A string. So to a regular rhythm of one and add, two and off, three and add. If you were to slide that up to the fifth fret, so these two fingers are on five, this finger's on six, this one's muting, and this one's going to go off and on the sixth fret. Again, so we've got a G shape at the fifth fret. We're muting the G string with this thumb. So we're doing down up, add that little finger, little finger off, add. Normally you count it one and add, two and off, three and add, four and to a. We played it up the neck, now let's play it going back towards the headstock. So you've got your G shape at the first fret, remembering to mute that G string. This time the little finger goes off and on the second fret, the, the string underneath the ring finger, there, to this rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. G shape, one and, add the little finger, two and three and four and. So as you can see this shape can now be used anywhere on the neck with that added string underneath. And that's how you can use that add a little bit to get a bit more out of that G chord as a movable chord. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpill Music School for more videos. Our Twitter page, Facebook page and web page is in the link down below. Just check it out. Until next time, keep practising, keep playing and goodbye.